For maximum picture quality, it may be necessary to adjust the tracking control on your VCR. Wonderful. Should I reserve it? Oh, Jenny, not now when we're so busy. You deserve a vacation. <laughs> I know, but I can't right now, because Bob's in the office talking to Mr. Bentley about our next building job. Oh, oh well. Wendy should have a vacation. Yeah, Bob too. If Bob and Wendy can't go away on vacation, then why don't we bring the vacation to them? Huh? What are you talking about? We could put some sand down in the yard and make it look like a beach and do some dancing and stuff when they finish work today. Oh, yes. I'll be a dancer. Oh, me too, Jenny. And me. I can rock and roll. <laughs> what should I do, Jenny? You can be the Disco Digger, Scoop. Uh, what does a Disco Digger do? Disco dancing, of course. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! -ho. Whoops! I think I need some dancing lessons, Dizzy. <laughs> Just wiggle like this. Oh! Oh! oh wait a minute! Oh. Quiet, Keep everybody. Down. What's going on? Uh, nothing. Uh, oh, Bob. Bob. Um, nothing. Uh, what are we doing today, Bob? Mr. Bentley just phoned to say that some old water pipes have cracked. We have to replace them right away because water's leaking out. It's a big job for Scoop. No problem, Bob. Uh, can I come too, Bob? You can come if you want to, Dizzy, but there's no mixing for you to do. That's okay. Yippee! Woohoo! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. We have to drain all this water, Wendy. And close off the road. Scoop, I want you to go over to JJ's right away and pick up the new pipes and connectors. Hurry back. We can only close the road for a few hours. Okay, Wendy. I'll go to JJ's with Scoop. Come on, Dizzy. It's time for our first dancing lesson. <laughs> okay, Scoop. <laughs> Just copy me, okay? Hey, hey, no, no, Scoop. Like this. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a try. I can't do what you do, Dizzy. You have little wheels. I have big ones. Uh, but it's the same steps. Look, forward, one, two, kick. Oh, come on, Scoop. Forward, one, two. Ah! <laughs> we can't keep this road blocked off all day. Scoop should be here by now, Wendy. I'll call JJ again. Hi, JJ. Has Scoop arrived at your yard yet? Uh, no, not yet, Bob. Oh, well, um, thanks, JJ. Bye, Bob. It's not like Scoop to be late. Scoop, thank goodness you're here. Bob's called twice, wondering where you were. Oh, 
We shouldn't have wasted time, Scoop. It's all my fault, Dizzy. I was so busy dancing, I forgot about the building job. Mm, you better take the pipes and connectors or Bob will never get the job done. I'm on my way, JJ. I have work to do, Dizzy. Oh, that's all right, Scoop. I'll go back to the yard and practice my dance steps. Oh, just in time, Dizzy. We have to change Bob's yard into a tropical beach. Ooh, brilliant! Let's rock and roll! And when to get back, Jenny? Yes, Mark. Ready, everybody? S sorry, Bob. Scoop, what kept you? Oh, uh, uh I, I was talking to Dizzy. Where's Dizzy now? Uh, she's gone back to the yard, uh, to, to check something. Oh, well, we better start digging that trench. I'm on the job, Bob. <laughs> We need to measure how deep the trench is. Okay, Scoop. Scoop? Oh. Forward. One, two, kick. Whoa! Oh, no. I, I can't dance. Scoop? Oh, uh, Bob. Are you all right? Oh, <laughs> yes, Bob. I was, uh, stretching. Oh, well, um, well then, come on. We better get back to work. Okay, Bob. Jenny. Sorry, Dizzy. I have to go back to Wendy's to pick up a few things for tonight. But you can carry on practicing. All right, come on, everybody. To the left. Two, three, down. Two, three, up, spin. Whoa! <laughs> Nearly finished? Not quite. We had a bit of a slow start. But we shouldn't be long now. Oh, Jenny, I've been practicing all day and I... Well, I can't dance! Oop! I'm useless. I know I'm going to look really silly. <laughs> You're the best disco dancer I've ever seen. But how can you know that? I've just watched you digging that trench. And you really dug that groove, Scoop. Really? Just dance for Bob and Wendy as if you were digging a trench. Dance as if I were digging a trench? Scoop, we need you right away. He is strange today. Come on, Muck. It's your turn. How do I look, Dizzy? <laughs> Brilliant! Ooh, I can't wait for Bob and Wendy to get back. <laughs> oh, that's it, Bob. Finish. Okay, Scoop. You can fill in the trench now. La, la, la. Da, do, de, bum, de, do. La, la. La 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 da 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 Ah! They're here! They're here! Oh, there! Just in time! Oh! What's going on? It's a surprise! We know you and Wendy are too busy to go on vacation, so we decided to bring the vacation to you! The star of tonight's vacation event is Scoop, the Disco Digger! I, 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 I can't do it, Jenny. Just be yourself and dig it. I can dig it! Yeah, well done, oh, Scoop! Oh, my goodness, you're Oh, amazing. yeah, Scoop. Now I know what you've been up to all day. <laughs> and we thought you weren't feeling well. <laughs> I was practicing my disco digging. On your feet, you two. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Come and dance. I'm not sure I can disco dance. Bob, if I can be a disco digger, you can be a disco dancer.
Thanks, JJ. I think we have everything we need. What's the job, Bob? The mayor has asked us to build a new pavilion for the annual flower show. She wants to make it a big success this year. What's a pavilion, Bob? It's a kind of shelter people sit under if it rains. The mayor has even asked Molly to make a special statue for the park entrance. Look! Wow! There's a plinth for it to stand on, and there are some red velvet curtains to go around it. Oh, there's going to be a grand unveiling ceremony tomorrow. Uh, I think we might have to come back for the statue, Bob. We're kind of full. Hmm, you're right, Scoop. Don't worry about that, Bob. I asked Farmer Pickles to send Travis along, too. I'm here! Oh, oh, please say I can help, Bob. Oh, I suppose so. Yes! Spuds on the job, Bob! You can start by loading that stuff onto Travis's trailer. Yes, Bob. Oh, I didn't know you had a horse, Molly. Hello, horsey. Spud's the name, Scaring's the game. Who are you? Oh, Spud, it isn't a real horse. It's a statue. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I knew that. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! That's it, Lofty. Keep it coming. Take it easy there. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. Well done, Lofty. <sighs> There. Now we're all ready for the unveiling. Okay. Come on, gang. We have a pavilion to put up. We should be getting back, Spud. I'm going to stay here, Travis. Someone needs to guard the statue so nothing happens to it. <laughs> oh, all right, Spud. See you later. <laughs> hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three. Hop out. Turn! Hop, two, three, four. Hey, hey you! Get off! Stop it! I'm guarding this statue and I don't want... <gasps> hmm. Yee-haw! It's Spot the Super Jockey! Come on, horsey! No one's gonna catch us! <laughs> oh! oh, no! What am I gonna do? Hmm, I wonder if Molly made the statue, then maybe I could. <gasps> Aha! Hmm. <laughs> I thought I left... Hmm. Huh? That's funny. Uh, Bob, have you taken some of the pieces I had here? No. Hmm. I don't understand. We've used all the pieces, but it doesn't seem to be finished. Maybe we didn't read the plans right. Or maybe we didn't pick up all the parts from JJ's yard. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry, Mr. Bentley, but I'm sure we'll get the pavilion finished by... Oh, it's not the pavilion, Bob. That can wait for now. I've just had a message from the mayor. She's asked me to do the statue unveiling. But that's wonderful, Mr. Bentley. But, but I need to write a speech and rehearse and... We'll help you, Mr. Bentley, won't we, Bob? Um, yes. Yes, of course we will. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, 
Oh, I, uh, I'm guarding Horsey, Bob, and that noise was a s spider trying to uh, build a cobweb on the statue, but I sure took care of him. <laughs> hmm. Well, Mr. Benley needs to practice the unveiling ceremony. What? Now? Well, why not, Spud? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> no time like the present, huh? <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the mayor, I would like to welcome you all here today to... Today... To the unveiling of the town's new... New... Statue. And I now declare it hereby forthwith and herein to be well and truly open. <gasps> Oh, no. Was my speech really that bad? Um, no. No! Look! <laughs> All right! Oh, wow! Brilliant! <laughs> That's what I call a horse! <gasps> What's that? What happened to the statue? It's right there. What's that? It's not my statue! But it is all the missing pieces from the pavilion! Spud! Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm, I'm afraid I broke your horse, Molly. I tried to make another one, only it isn't very good. I'm really, really sorry. So, um, where's my statue, Spud? Oh, it's over there, Molly. Oh! I hid it in the bushes. Well... It could be worse, but Yes, I think I should be able to fix it as good as new. Whoop! Oh, uh, I mean, uh, thank you. Sorry, Molly. On behalf of the mayor, I would like to welcome you all here today to the opening of the annual flower show. And to mark the occasion, I have great pleasure in unveiling this wonderful new statue. This wonderful new statue! I'm really so sorry. It seems to be kind of... Stuck. Don't worry, Mr. Bentley. Spud's on the job. Oh. Oh. Mr. Bentley, look out! Don't. Oh. Oh. oh, Spud. Uh, Mr. Bentley, can you can you get off now? Mr. Bentley. Oh, are you all right? Of course he's all right, aren't you, Mr. Bentley? Uh, yes, yes, I uh. I think so. Oh, you nearly broke horsey, Mr. Bentley. Lucky I was here to save both of you. <laughs> oh, oh Spud. Spud! What? What? What did I say? Uh, what did I say? Mr. Beasley want a pile of rocks in his yard, Bob. That's not just a pile of rocks, Skip. No, it's a rock garden. And lots of people have them. And they're very popular, you know. Ah, uh, there you are, Bob. Hello, Mr. Bentley. What can I do for you? Well, the mayor wants to put on an art exhibition, but there's nowhere big enough to hold it. I know. What about the old mill? The old mill's in need of repair. Pam Goody's been doing her best to renovate it, but the exhibition opens the day after tomorrow. Well, why don't we do the work for her? We could put in some new windows and replace the brickwork. Do you know, I think that's a great idea, Scoop. The day after tomorrow? That doesn't give us long. D don't worry, Bob. Uh, my rock garden can wait. I'll come and help. Me too, Bob. I think I'm going to need you both. Oh, I wish I had ideas like Scoop. Oh, phew. 
There's a lot to do. You're right. We better get started. I'm going to knock off the old plaster inside the mill. Okay, Wendy. Come on, team. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Rolly, could you go and flatten the ground near the wall over there? That'll be the level base for the scaffolding. Rocking and rolling, Bob! <laughs> and while Rolly does that, we better do something about that hole in the wall. Bob, I I've just had a brilliant idea. Why don't we put a big new door in that hole? Big enough so that even Scoop and Mud can go in and out. Well, I've already had that idea, Skip. First of all, we're going to put a big steel joist in to hold up the wall above, and then we'll fit the new door we've ordered from JJ's. Uh, uh, hey, Bob, I, I, I've had another idea. Why don't I put up the scaffolding? Then you can get on with something else. Um, how are you going to put the scaffolding up, Skip? Um, uh, oh, I, 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 I. I can't, can I? No, but you can take all the stuff Muck and Scoop are going to clear from inside the mill to the dump. Okay, Bob. Whew! This old plaster's really rotten, but the brickwork's going to look really good when we've cleaned it all up and repointed it. <laughs> this stuff should keep Skip busy. What's that, Bob? It's a rubble chute, Rolly. We'll put this up on the scaffolding, and we can throw all the loose bricks and rotten wood down it into Skip. Ready for your first load, Skip? Huh? Oh, oh yeah! Uh, bring it on, Scoop! <laughs> Thanks, Muck! Okay, next stop, the dump! Yeah, hold it, Skip. Yeah, I think you might need a head when you get there. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Uh, thanks, Mr. Beasley. Uh, must have an idea. Must have an idea. Uh, what'd you say, Skip? Oh, 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 nothing, Mr. Beasley. Oh, uh, hello, Mrs. Broadbent. What are you doing? Oh, oh just getting rid of some old stuff. Trouble is, I, I'm not sure what to do with it. Hey, I, I, I just had an idea. I could take it to the dump for you. Oh, I just remembered. I I, I can't. I'm doing an important job for Bob. Uh, sorry. Come on, Mr. Beasley. Y y what? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Bye-bye, uh, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Broadbent. Yeah. Oh, oh, bye, Skip. Bye-bye, oh. Mr. Beasley. Oh. Hey, Bob, I've had an idea. Why, why don't you make a sort of chute so you can drop all the... Oh, you have. Hi, Skip. All ready for the next load. That's another full load you've got there, Skip. Off you go. Okay, Bob. Yeah, yeah, hold it, Skip! Yeah, wait for me! Well, if I'm not mistaken, those ducks are a very rare breed indeed. A great shade of green. I knew I could have an idea. If only I could just, just think of one. Uh, what if... Uh, no, that's silly. <laughs> Perhaps I could... Uh, no, that wouldn't work. M maybe I could. Um, yeah, well, known for their unusual nests, which they build out of thorny twigs. Oh, build? Did you say? Oh no! I've been so busy thinking. I I forgot about the job. Skip. Uh, skip. You uh, come back. Wait for me. Oh, sorry, Bob. I I, I was dawdling. Hey, skip, look out! Stop! Oh! Oh, oh, what's happening? Help! Get me down! Hang on, Bob. We'll think of something. Uh, hang on. Huh? Hey, Skip, where are you going? Oh, Skip, uh, you came back? Oh, Skip, how nice. Have you come to take my stuff? Uh, it's just the mattress, Mrs. Broadbent. This is an emergency. Uh, can you put it into my dumpster, please? Yes. Uh, could you help me, Mrs. Potts? Oh, of course. A one, a two, up. 
I'll be back later. Uh, thanks. Bye. Oh. Uh, 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 hey. Hang on, Bob. Don't move. I'm coming, Bob. Okay, Bob. Climb into the chute, then undo your harness. But, um, it's all right. I have a soft mattress in my dumpster for you to land on. Okay, here goes. Whoa! Oh! Phew! Yeah! Oh, yeah! He's all right! Yeah! yeah! Thanks, Skip. Well, yes, but it was my fault it all happened in the first place. I, I was trying so hard to think of a good idea that I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. But, Skip, you did have an idea. A brilliant idea. Who got the mattress to break my fall? And who thought of using the shoe to get me down? I did. I had an idea! You had an idea! Well done! Good Yay. idea, Skip! Well done! But we still have a job to do, don't we? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, 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 there you are, Skip! Well, Bob, you've done an absolutely splendid job. The mayor is delighted. Thanks, Mr. Bentley. But I couldn't have done it without Wendy and the team. And especially Skip. Oh, I didn't do all that much. Not much? <laughs> you were running from here to the dump and back oh, like no. there was no tomorrow. The dump? Oh, uh, oh I, I, I forgot. What are you doing, Skip? This is Broadbent. I never took her stuff to the dump. Oh, yeah. Uh, coming, Mrs. Broadbent. Uh, well, uh, wait for me, Skip. Yeah, wait for... Oh, no. Oh, not again. Uh, hold it, Skip. Wait for me. <laughs> I have a very special job for you today, Bob, because today's a very special day. Is it, Mr. Bentley? It's 25 years ago exactly that Mrs. Bentley and I got married. Wow! It's our wedding anniversary. Congratulations! Thank you. Now, I'd like to give Mrs. Bentley a special surprise present. She's always wanted her very own summer house. Do you think you could build one for me? Of course we can! Yes! Well, we want to make sure Mrs. Bentley has a special day, don't we? Oh, yeah! Have to make it nice! Well, that's very kind. Oh, one more thing. I think Mrs. Bentley might have guessed something's up. So, if she asks what she's getting, you must say nothing. Nothing? But I thought she was getting a... It's all right, Muck. You see, it's just so we don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> no, I better get back and make sure Mrs. Bentley isn't at the house when you start work. So, team... Say nothing to anyone. A summer house! Wow! Schmuck. Yeah, uh, sh we must say nothing. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Uh, hi, everyone. Anything exciting going on? No, there's nothing exciting going on. Nothing that you know about, anyway. Nothing that I know about. <laughs> what do you mean? I know something you don't know. Yeah, yeah, what? I can't tell you. Oh, go on, please. No, I can't. It's a surprise. <laughs> ah, hello, dear. Going out? Yes, Bernard. I just need to get a few things in town. Oh, well, uh, while you're there, why don't you, uh... Drop into Tony Dixon's and get your hair done. Oh, oh, I think I might. Well, better get going. See you later. <sniffs> Wonderful. That's Barbara out for the whole afternoon. A stroke of genius, if I do say so myself. What kind of surprise, Mark? Oh, tell me, please. Okay, everyone, come with us. Except you, Mark. 
Can you run over to JJ's yard and pick up the lumber I've ordered? Okay, Wendy. Don't be long, Muck. Oh, come on. You can tell me Spuddy's your friend. Oh, I can't, Spud. I have to go to JJ's now. Ah, oh, Muck! <laughs> Uh, 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 oh, uh, 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 uh. Now, Mr. Bentley, where do you want this summer house? Right where I'm standing, Bob. Okay, everyone. Let's go! Perfect. Now we can put the walls up. We can't until Muck gets here with that lumber. Where is Muck? I'll go and look for her. Thanks, Scoop. Stop! What? What's the surprise? Oh? Oh, all right. I know what Mrs. Bentley's getting for her anniversary present. <gasps> oh. Oh, uh, Mrs. Bentley. <laughs> you know what I'm getting for my anniversary present? Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> Muck, go on. Just give me a little hint. Oh, well, um, uh... Oh, please, Muck. I can't wait until later to find out. Oh, dear. Well... Yes? Mr. Bentley said, say nothing. Well, Mrs. Bentley, uh, for your anniversary present, uh, you're getting, um, well... Oh, what, Muck? Um, nothing. Nothing? You mean, Bernard hasn't gotten me anything at all, but... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, well, uh, I mean, when I say nothing, I mean... No, no, Muck, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, I shouldn't have asked. Oh, no. It's just that Mr. Bentley said that... Oh, no, no. It, it's fine. Per perhaps I'll just go and do a little shopping, uh, get myself something, maybe. Uh... Oh, no. What have I done? Muck! Haven't you picked up the lumber yet? Bob and Wendy are waiting for it. But, but... You better get a move on, Muck, or that summer house isn't going to be built in time for the party. What party? The special surprise party for Mrs. Bentley, of course, when Mr. Bentley's going to give her the summer house. <laughs> Come on! Oh, no, Bob. A big concrete shape on the lawn's not much of an anniversary present. Oh, there you are, Muck. Sorry, Wendy. Sorry, everyone. Well, you're here now, and so's the lumber. Let's build that summer house. Uh, okay. I just have to go and uh, um, tell someone that I'm something, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Muck, it'll have to wait. We need everybody's help. Oh, but, uh, Bob, uh... Can we build it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, dear. So that's one summer house finished. Well done, everyone. Then is it okay if I go off and uh, do what I have to do now? All right, Muck. But get back soon. The other guests will be arriving any minute. Okay. What's gotten into Muck today? Oh, Mrs. Bentley, where are you? I have to get you back for the party. Oh, Mrs. Bentley! You. Oh, hello again, Muck. Oh, Mrs. Bentley, why don't you let me carry those shopping bags for you? I can give you a ride home. Oh, uh, no, Muck. I, I'm not going home right now. But thanks anyway. Oh, but you have to, because, uh, uh... No, no, I, I'm just going to do a bit more shopping, and then I might go over to my mother's. No! Uh, I have to take you home. Now! Why? Uh, um, oh, Mrs. Bentley, I can't tell you why. Muck, l let me get past. Oh, no, I, I can't. Muck, stop being so silly. <sighs> really, Muck, I, I just don't know what's gotten into you today. Oh, uh, well, there's only one way to do this. Yeah, that was, was so nice. Oh, yeah, I did. Yes. Oh, I saw that. Mm. 
When's the guest of honor due? Oh, Bob. Mrs. Bentley should have been here ages ago. She was only supposed to be going to do some shopping. I, I, I hope she hasn't gone to her mother's. Those two could talk all night. I'll have to say something. Explain there's been a delay. <coughs> yes, yes. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. Um, as you know, uh, today is, uh, mine and Mrs. Bentley's wedding anniversary. But unfortunately, things haven't quite gone to plan, and, uh... Mark! Put me down! Oh, <gasps> good heavens! Barbara! Oh, hello, everyone. Happy anniversary! Oh. You've always wanted a summer house, so I thought I'd surprise you. Oh, Bernard. That's why I had to bring you home. I'm sorry I nearly spoiled your surprise. Anyway, you better go to your party now. Thank you, Muck. I think I will. And thank you, Bernard. The summer house is beautiful. Oh. 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 Muck. What exactly has been going on today? Well, Bob, it's a long story. But I have learned something. What's that, Muck? When it comes to surprises, always say nothing. <laughs> there. One box of household refuse. Hi, Bob. Hello, Trix. You're just in time. Thanks for offering to take this junk down to the recycling center for me. That's okay. Skippy's taking some stuff down there for JJ. Yeah, so we're both going together. Bye, Bob. Bye. Oh, oh look, creepy crawly. It's only a tiny insect. It's not going to hurt anybody. Morning, everyone. I bring exciting news. The mayor has decided the town needs a movie house. Oh, a movie house? Brilliant. Uh, what's a movie house? It's a place where lots of people go to see movies. But won't it take about a million bricks to build one? Not this one, Dizzy. It's an outdoor movie house. Here is the, uh, plan. Oh, yes. And you see, there's a great big space for people to drive in and watch a movie under the stars. Is it all outdoors? If it is, that means we'd be able to go, too. It is. And yes, you can, Scoop. Fantastic. I've never been in a movie house. I will, of course, be sending an expert along to install the screen and the projector. A Mr. Costello from Costello Movie House Installation. Is he bringing the movie, too? Ah, yes. The movie house will open with the invasion of the giant bug. It's all about a monster insect that comes creeping into town and tries to take over. Oh. Oh, my gosh. And some special display materials are on their way, Bob. Oh, really? Like what, exactly? Ha, ha, ha. Wait and see, Bob. Can we watch it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Shoo! Go away! This is a farm, not a snack bar! Hey, Spud! Oh, hi, Trix. Hi, Skip. I'm scaring the birds off the fields. Uh, go on, Scrab! Oh, dear. I think Spud needs some help. This is the movie house site, everybody. It's going to be a big job, one of our biggest ever. Now, we need to build a projection booth here and put up a screen over there. So, let's get to work, team. Yikes! For a second there, I thought you were real. You're not, are you? Oh! Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, JJ. You've seen a what? Don't move, JJ. Don't move. I'll be right over. What's the matter, Bob? JJ needs help. There's a big buggy monster thing in his yard. <laughs> that must be the special display materials for the invasion of the bug. Oh, yes. Of course. Silly me. I think you better call JJ and explain. I said I'd beat you back, Skip. Oh, I've left him miles behind. He... Ah! Just pretend. Hey, I have an idea. 
Come with me, scary buggy monster! Go away! Haven't you had enough to eat yet, Squawk? This'll help Spud scare those crows away. Arrgh. Hey, Spud! Look what I've got! <laughs> All ready for the projector. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. I am Mr. Costello. If you're setting up a movie house, I am your man. Uh, this is the film projector. Take it away, Lofty. Easy does it now. That's very sensitive equipment. Now, the projector shines the film through that window across this area and up onto the screen. That's really clever. Hey, where is the screen? Don't worry. We're going to put it up later. Yes, and that's going to be a big job. It certainly is. There's still a lot to do before the big opening tonight. And I mustn't forget to pick up that giant bug. Now, let's all choose a nice peaceful riverbank scene to paint. Now, it's time to get that screen up. Great work, team. Now, it's about time I picked up the giant bug. Come on, Lofty. Hi, JJ. I'm here to pick up the giant bug. I can't wait to see it. But, Bob, I thought you'd taken it ages ago. Giant bug! Ah! ah it's gonna Spud, get me! I better find out what's going on. Let's go, Lofty! Bud? Spud! Bud! No, Bug, leave me alone! Oh, I can't get in! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh help! Oh, no! I'm stuck! Bob, save me! Save me from the giant Bug! <laughs> it's not real, Spud. It's a model! Uh, 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 a model? Sorry I scared you, Spud. I thought this would help you scare crows. Scare crows? Phew. Well, it scared me all right. <laughs> oh, poor old Spud. But, Trix, you really shouldn't have taken the bug without asking. I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> That's okay, Trix. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hi, Wendy. The drive-in's ready? Great! Okay, Trix, follow me! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and salutations to you all. If you'd like to take your seats, prepare yourselves for an audiovisual extravaganza representing the very cutting edge of Alfresco movie house technology. <laughs> Roll them! No, no, don't panic. It's all special effects. 
<laughs> Everyone can see it's not real. Even I knew that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it wasn't real, because cause Bob told me. Move over, little Scoop! Anyone got any popcorn? Shh. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>